don't go for very complex project like you don't know anything about it and you have made a complex project that is something which can backfire your you in the in any interview be yourself and be specific because many a times what students do they exaggerate their things and you are very new to interview but the interviewer is not very new he take we took so many interview and in a second he find out that you are exaggerating the thing Hello everyone welcome back to geeks for geeks my name is muskan agarwal now talking about this webinar so this webinar is in continuation with our interview experience series webinar we have mausam with us today who is going to share about his interview experience at microsoft and you know he is going to make the placement process a bit easy for us so without any further ado just let me add mausam to the stream quickly hi mausam how are you doing hello muskan i am doing good what about you yeah i am doing good as well so let us start with the webinar so before yeah. that can you give a quick introduction about yourself so the audience connect with you better yes so <clears throat> hello everyone hope you all are doing well and must be safe amidst this global pandemic i am mausam kumar mishra uh, currently i am pursuing my bachelor's degree with a specialization in electronics and communication from bhagwan parshuram institute of technology it's affiliated to guru gobind singh in the plus new delhi it is located in new delhi rohini so uh, this is about myself yes that is really great so talking about the interview experience that you know all of us are watching for so can you tell a brief about how many interview rounds at microsoft did you go across and a brief about each and every round that was there so actually uh, first of all let me tell you about in uh, which domain i have inter, uh, selected as an intern i am uh, selected as an intern at, in the customer experience and success team at microsoft so start uh, let us start with the first uh, interview round so there are actually uh, more than 12000 application uh, which are submitted for this uh, only uh, domain <coughs> they microsoft had given a uh, one week time for submission of application so after that uh, i have also submitted the application in that duration after that they reviewed the resume and uh, uh, after that they gave us a confirmation mail that uh, congratulations you are selected for the uh, interview for uh, uh, this internship so uh, for first round there is a gd group discussion so uh, in my batch uh, there are approx 6 to 7 students so there are, is a group discussion uh held and uh, i think in the in the in the same day at the evening i got a confirmation mail that yes i am uh, uh, i have passed that uh, gd after that uh, there are some tech sessions for just to give us insight about what the role is all about and after that uh, there is a another uh, session oh, uh, sorry uh, 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 there is another uh, thing which is known as break fix uh, mm -hmm. it is also uh, tech interview round so uh, in that uh, there is a lab uh, you have to uh, make the lab and after that so the people who are mentor of yours they are going to break that lab and you have to fix that after that there is a hackathon uh, semi finals and finals unfortunately i didn't went to the semi uh, finals i only uh, go to the uh, semi finals after that uh, they have uh, shortlisted me for the interview uh, uh, technical round after that managerial round and then at the last hr interview with a language screen test so these are some of the interviews which i have went through uh, before getting this internship okay so this the entire process seems very um, like very different from the general interview process like yeah yes yes yeah actually I, it's a, it's, yeah. it's from a uh, let me tell you uh, it's from a not, not from a uh, normal uh, interview you know, we all are selected from uh, there are college hire also but we are selected from a competition which is known as mm -hmm. pixathon actually i came across this competition from uh, linkedin only i am uh, pretty much active on linkedin so i get to know about this in uh, uh, <coughs> competition that is fixathon so microsoft hires uh, uh, for this team uh, some of the interns from this uh, hackathon only hmm. so we have to go through this hackathon and after uh, some interviews technical hr managerial round these type of interviews okay so talking about fixathon can you tell me like what was the eligibility criteria and were there any restrictions based on college or cgpa no 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 
uh so they are telling uh, about college there is no restriction on college yes there is a bar uh, barrier on cgpa your cgpa must be more than 8 uh, mm. uh and uh, for this year like i am 2022 pass out so fix it on for this time is only for 2022 batch next year it's for 23 24 and follow okay okay that yes. is really great also uh, you mentioned that there were technical interview rounds right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. in the technical interview round like is it like a normal uh, like bsa round or something else was asked no uh, actually yes yes actually it's not a uh, dsa or coding round it's basically mm -hmm. for the customer experience and success team for which you have to be good in os and networking so microsoft also share the learning resources also that is pretty much good enough to prepare for this technical round right right basically computer uh, science fundamentals and theory subjects like, like you can you can say that the core subjects so also guys we have a video on this also like wherein you know we have discussed about the importance of these subjects so you can definitely check out that video as well yes I, I, uh, also i have prepared from the geeks for geeks resources the oscn part yes definitely you can check out like there are a lot of resources we have like uh, we have proper videos as well as articles mm -hmm. on operating system dbms computer networks definitely do not forget to check them out yes so now the next thing is resume i have seen like before we reach till the company resume is something that reaches for us to the company so mm -hmm. can you tell us like how did you curate your resume such that it stands apart from the rest of the students that are applying yes uh, absolutely you are right Uh, resume plays a very crucial role in your selection uh, because at first go, going to talking about any company abc any company fang or beat any company uh, so your resume shortlisting is very important because after that only you will be invited for interview and uh, anything so mm -hmm. i have paid a lot of attention while making my resume uh, i it's not a one day task i just uh, used uh, i think i went one or two months for just for making my resume good enough i also took help for uh, some peeps uh, from linkedin only they guided me how to make a resume where, through which you can stand out so uh, after these thing and there are many tools also like uh, resume building tools you can go for that or or make your resume from microsoft word everyone knows how to use it so so yes resume plays a very crucial role in your selection okay also can you tell us like what are the key components what were the key components in your resume like there were achievement section and there were project section like what all was there in your resume yes uh, uh, first of all uh, there was uh, a brief introduction about me that, that is very important in your resume your how to get to back to you like your email address your contact number not your address that that should not be in your resume i think and after that uh, coming to my achievements i have pretty good certifications which i can mention i have mentioned in my resume and also i did some internships in cyber cells and investigation agency of government government of india so i have mentioned that also and uh, currently i am also the chairperson of the technical society of my college so uh, that's also a plus point which i have added in my resume so these are some pointers you have to keep in mind while building your resume right that is really amazing also were the projects in your resume discussed during any of the interview round uh yes uh, your your project also plays a uh, good role in your uh, in your technical session or hr uh, hr interview so they ask about the project like uh, i have one project in my resume mostly i have did internships only but there is one project on uh, packet tracer so i i also that was very small but yes uh, i have a very good understanding of that so interviewer are very impressed with that right also i have seen that a lot of time students are confused that what kind of project should they work on like should they work on simple projects as you mentioned that you know the, like the interviews were uh, impressed by that project and some students try to work on very complex projects so what will be your suggestion what kind of project uh, should we work on that totally depends on uh, what are your uh, passion what is your passion like uh, basically i am from uh, ec background but i have more interest in cyber security so uh, mm -hmm. if you uh, see my resume or linkedin profile my certification are also in the cyber security domain and internship also in the cyber security domain so it totally depends on your passion and what do you like to make so uh, just you have a strong understanding of your project that i think it good enough don't go for very complex project like you don't know anything about it and you have made a complex project that is something which can backfire you, you. 
in the in an interview yeah i 100% agree with you i i think we whatever project we are making we should make it like from scratch yeah, and yeah, yeah. make it with utmost honesty right yes 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 don't go for a bu- buying project because it's available ready yes yes everything is available actually but it is yes. it does not mean that you can not work on hmm. it from no, like no. from scratch again right the next thing that i wanted to ask like you went through the entire process so like what is your observation if you have to suggest three things for the students who are applying this year that do not make these mistakes something that that you have observed that your peers made some mistakes or you yourself made few of the mistakes what will be your uh, three suggestions if you have to give like what i understand from your question like you are asking what microsoft look for in an intern or a new hire no no so i am asking that you went through the entire process so what are the three key mistakes or like what are your key learnings that you you know had okay, from okay. the entire oh, process okay i i got you. yeah so uh, first of all like uh, for whatever role you are applying uh, be it uh, c in s team customer experience and success team sd role data analytics anything first of all hmm. do your own research about the role what what are, uh, is it, it is uh, aligning with your passion do you know about uh, do you know fully about that role so do your own research uh, before applying to any role uh, not only in microsoft any company uh, okay. after that uh, know your core competencies like your strengths your weakness and things like that and uh, one thing which i find in an interview like uh, for, before microsoft i got an uh, offer from many other companies so one thing which i suggest every uh, every student in the interview be yourself and be specific because many a times what people uh, students do they exaggerate their things and mm-hmm. you are very new to interview but the interviewer is not very new he take he took so many interview and in a second he find out that you are exaggerating the things so be yourself and be specific and then after that demonstrate the curiosity and thinking to learn new things that's a thing that uh, the companies like microsoft or google the these uh, companies look for in the candidate that he is curious he or she is curious and is uh, learning ability so these are the things which i think uh, candidate have to work on yes definitely i think these three things are really important for any interview yes. also i wanted to ask as you mentioned that computer science fundamentals are important right so what is the difficulty level of the questions that are asked in the interview if you have to judge on easy medium or hard uh it's not very easy uh, we can say it's intermediate some of question are hard definitely i i was not able to answer that but yes mostly it is intermediate and some of uh, some of them are hard also as you mentioned that you know even you were not able to answer few of the questions so it is not like uh, they expect you to know no, no, 100% no, no, no. No. of the questions no. right absolutely not because they also know that you are very new uh you don't know uh, you everything 100% of any subject so they also know but yes you have to answer a few questions right definitely and like explain like as you mentioned that we should not exaggerate so mm. yes be be clear be t- to the point mm. and you know just answer whatever they are asking yeah 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 correct next thing i wanted to ask that throughout the entire process what is your observation like what do you think microsoft is exactly looking for when they are mm-hmm. hiring students to pick the job like if we talk about microsoft uh, like microsoft is a very big company it, it's my dream company like uh, sitting in front of you i am not believing that i am selected microsoft it's uh, a dream as of now only also so right. what microsoft is look for in his candidate uh, be it a new or experience the passion for technology he is very passionate about uh, he or she is very passionate about technology because it is basically a technology uh, industry so first thing passion about, uh, for technology and then the technical and analytical skills uh, in any candidate because uh, there are many challenges in these type of companies which uh, come to day to day so he is to uh, the candidate must be very technically and analytically very strong uh, <clears throat> after that the cognitive uh, ability by this i mean that the potential and skill for an employee to lead communicate and interact mentor or multitask some kind of uh, reasoning so these uh, these are some skills which uh, microsoft look for also the alignment with company culture like uh, my, the 
करंट कल्चर ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट लाइक एम्पावरिंग एवरी वन टू अचीव मोर एंड ग्रोथ माइंड सेट सो दीज आर समिंग दैट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इन एन एच आर इंटरव्यू और एनी इंटरव्यू लुक इन द कैंडिडेट right definitely i think company culture is very important yes, i have yes, seen yes. that most of the companies that you know most of the big companies pay more importance to the company culture yes. and true, true, true. whether a student is able to fit in those uh, particular their work environment or not right hmm. so yes company culture is important and you yes. should know how to work in a team like individual i can work but in a yes. team it is very different yes 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 because uh, microsoft is a very big company you have to work along with the team not going individually right yes. collaborative environment is also necessary right definitely and right now i think everything is going offline so your uh, offices will be offline or what uh, like uh, our internship is more, most probably will be in online mode and hmm. uh, after an ft conversion which is based on the performance only so after that we have to go uh, uh, in the office only right. although Did i uh, yeah yeah continue uh, although i am uh, listening that uh, there are hybrid model uh, which are, many companies are accept, uh, accepting in their working model so if that that's uh, coming to microsoft uh, i think that the hybrid model is also in microsoft so uh, we have to work in both offline and online mode right that is really yeah. great i hope everything turns on <laughs> offline sorry yes 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 yeah, because this pandemic situation is very worse yeah also i wanted to ask like there is microsoft engage program so there is a referral system in microsoft engage mm-hmm. so is mm-hmm. it the same thing for fixathon as well uh, can employees refer the student uh, like uh, i don't know that for fixathon uh, anyone can refer or not Uh, I have not asked. Uh, I am not confirmed, but yes, uh, referral is there in Microsoft. Uh, it, it's for sure, but I am not confirmed uh, for Fixathon. They are taking referral or not? Because it right. uh, it so, is an internship mostly. Right. So I think the students who are applying, they can go through the website and you know go through the rules yes. and regulations. I I, I suggest I suggest everyone to be active on LinkedIn and follow some uh, FTEs of Microsoft. so because they they uh, and is specifically from cns team so they they are they share the uh, news of fixathon whenever it will come uh, for 2023 batch so uh, be active on linkedin you you will get okay. to know because the application window is very uh, limited uh, i think for one week they will open the application window and after that they have, uh, they will close so be active very much active on linkedin and follow some hrs or uh, fts of microsoft from uh, okay. customer experience and success team Right, definitely. As you mentioned, that you also got to know from LinkedIn, so I think yes. it is a great platform. Yes, I, actually, I got to know from uh, one HR, uh, Akansha Mathur, ma'am. Uh, hmm. I got to uh, she, she had posted the uh, the Fixathon news, and also she is my hiring manager. Okay, that is really great. That is really, and I think it is so competitive, so it is better. Like as soon as it opens, just apply for it. Do not wait for the last no, year no, no. when it's no, no, no. Don't wait for the last day because many times what happened on the last day the server got crashed or anything. So be very attentive and apply as soon as it uh, comes live. Right, definitely. So yes, these were all the questions from my side, Mawson. Thank you so much for coming to Geeks for Geeks and sharing your experience. I hope it helps a lot of students who are watching this and you know people who are applying to Fixathon this year. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mawson. Okay. Thank you guys for joining and watching this webinar. And if you have any other doubts, you can connect with Mawson on LinkedIn as well. So yes, you can ask your questions there as well. Thank you. With this, we'll end the webinar. Bye. 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 I will see you in the next webinar. Bye.